All right, hello everybody. How y'all doing? Hope you're all doing well. You know, I know things are starting to open up and such. Um, just when it does, you just still got to uh, practice. <clears throat> I'm sorry, let me uh, hydrate my mouth. Coffee does that to me. <clears throat> and such. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I hope, uh, you know, when things start to open up, y'all... Keep up your safe health practices, washing hands, uh, keeping distance and such. But, you know, the economy's got to open up so we can have uh, things back to at least mid-normal. You know, unemployment is about as high, I think it's as high as it was in the Great Depression. And that was, let's see, about 90 years ago? Wow. But getting off that topic, you know, that was just something that popped off my head. Sorry, it's kind of a thing I do, I guess. Um... First off, I want to thank the Sloth Lord Show. I'm giving them a huge shout out. They he does a lot of my thumbnails. I mean, this thumbnail and most of my thumbnails before are his. I very rarely like to uh, make my own. I don't know why. I just feel like he does it better. He's great at what he does, in my opinion. Um, you know, and I feel like I want to help his channel. Too, the Sloth Lord Show. He's in. I've subscribed to him, so I'm not. I think YouTube has a thing with things I subscribe to. You know, pretty off the wall things, but fits my character. What can I say? Which is me. But uh, the Sloth Lord Show, I really like his. I really like giving him a huge shout out. Please check out his channel. He's mostly into reviews, which is awesome. I mean, he keeps this up. He's going to be. A, he keeps on going and trying. Uh. You might be a critic one day, and that's amazing. Up, up, yep. Elsa wanted to join in. And no, she's not named out of the Frozen print Queen Princess, whatever. She is named off of the freak show, American Horror Story. Elsa Mars, you know. God, the personalities are about 15. But this is Elsa. Yeah, she thought she'd join me. Very pretty dog. Yeah, I'll give you a treat after the show. But, uh... She's a face licker, but, uh, you know, uh, i like to give him a huge shout out, you know, I'm also hoping to get his artwork out so people will start going to him for their thumbnails and maybe get him a little bit extra cash, whatever, would be great for him to do that, I just wanted to get his name out there, get him started, you know, I would, because I would appreciate it if somebody would do the same for me in my line of work. Okay, let's put you right here, hon. Nope, nope. You're not a freaking prairie dog. But, okay, Elsa down. I will need you down. Down. Good girl. Um, but, today, I'm also going to give an update on that big BAM box I won in February. Um, due to the COVID and, you know, them just starting this whole scratch-off thing, things have been kind of iffy for them. And I have been patient, but, uh, I don't want to say I lost my patience, but I messaged them and said, hey, I won this. Am I getting this? You know, be straight with me. They were. They said, well, the Galaxy Box is gone, but we're going to send you a, the big bam Stephen King at the end of this month. You know... I even, even kind of uh, said, okay, do you need my shipping addresses? We already have it on file. So I got the big box from Stephen King that I won. I got my big box, bam. The big bam box that I won for free, which is like, what, $100? Over $100? I don't know. I, I looked it up, but I couldn't find a price. Something said it was like $30. i am like, that's not true because, you know, as a dual autograph. Dual autographs means, I think, either two autographs, major autographs, or a photo that's signed by two people and they're being authenticated by Beckett. So that is something I'm going to be looking forward to. And I'll probably, and I'm fingers crossed because, you know, I don't count my chickens until they're hatched. That I will be uploading the Big Bang Box, Stephen King, in Jan uh, hopefully not in January. I almost said June, July. June. Freaking months with J's and I'm screwing me up, man. But, uh, yes, I am looking forward to that. You know, I'm keeping faith in them because Big Band Box, heck, they've unintentionally been good to me. I mean, my first Big Band Box, I got a pin, which is up on my blanket with my other pins. That was like, what, one out of 50? The Gremlin one, pure white, you know? And then the second Big Band Box, I won this. 
you know, the last one I had, uh, you know, it's just a casual box. I got some cool things, but they all can't be winners. So, fair enough. There was also one. Oh, and I, and I, that was like the, the last big band box was the only box I did not get an upgrade on, you know. And that's like, uh, let's see, my fourth one. Yeah, fourth one, I got number four and five coming. I was lucky enough to get the fifth one out when the stimulus checks came out. I snatched that up, you know, because the themes were Chucky, Child's Play, whatever, uh, Freddy vs. Jason, which that was a major movie in my growing up, you know. Um, another plug, I'm not sure. I, I've been thinking about getting Instagram back, but I'm not sure if I should because... I don't know. I'm not sure how you guys feel about me getting an Instagram and start doing, like, vid a picture list. You know, I can be posted. Oh, this is my favorite album. Like, I'm doing something on my Facebook, but my Facebook, I'm very private to a degree. You know, um, I only, I pretty much, and heck, if I, I used to be like, oh, I'll add you, I'll add you, I'll add you. But these days, it's just like, you know, I don't know you, dude. So, whatnot. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about doing, getting Instagram back and start something with that. But... You know, you know what? I want to give a shout out to Sloth Lord Show. See what he thinks. What accounts I should have. He'll probably be watching this. I hope he does. Bro, thanks for doing all your good work for me. But let's get to what I like to call the mini things before I get to the uh, unboxing. Now I can't find Critter. Oh God, where did I put that guy? Alright, unfortunately, Critter's going to have to miss out on this show, but I do have one little thing. It's a money clip with a knife, which, you know, what's that going to do? It's rusty. No, it's not. It is, but I can still work it. And I shall call you as my backup one. Gremlin. Let's call this guy Gremlin. What's so weird about naming your knives, even if they're midgets? Small, small people. Yeah, let's go with that. But once again, I want to do a couple things before I get to the unboxing. I tried saving this this one right here. I the, the big band, not the big band. Loot crate. I got this from Loot crate. It's really cool. I thought I put some stuff in it, fill it up. Like twenty one. Twenty one's my number. Uh, you know, if I'm going to base something, it's going to be twenty one seven seven seven, which is God's number. Supposedly, I put that into it. I'm kind of spiritual superstitious helps me get through my day in life and i fervently believe in what i believe in i was doing a 21 bag where i collect 21 mis miscellaneous things and then just unbox them in a video but i was like i'm not patient enough for that so we're just going to do a couple things each video and when i run out i'll either start collecting the many things and whatnot i'm going to go for this because i just no not that sorry here we go i want to go for the uh Today, we're going to go for the Harry Potter Chocolate Frog, which comes with a trading card. And World's Smallest. Alright, let's start with this guy. You know, let me get, him, get this guy some attention. What did I get the World's worst, worst, Smallest of? What's that? No. Collector Sheet. Alright, oh boy, it looks like, feels like a keychain, I don't know. Heck, it might be Jax, but... Huh. Okay. A little, uh, toy. It ball pops up. Yeah. Don't throw it at yourself. You gotta swing it. That's pretty cool, you know. Cause it is kind of tricky, especially now that it's mini. A little ball. It's that little toy that people go. I'm not sure what they call it. You try to get the ball. Up. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it in three tries. Nope. Sorry, I didn't see that, but it wasn't worth your time. But that's cool. Pitch that. Now for the chocolate frog, which I will eat later. Put in my snack shack. Uh, it's like a trading card with a chocolate frog that does not jump or whatnot. Be cool, but, you know, I don't think technology is really worried about making uh, candy frogs uh, alive. What did we get? Holy crap. Did I just... 
I think I just pulled somebody big. He's on the freaking wrapper. Oh god, wait, no. Ow! Alright, I thought I got something. Well, we got the chocolate frog. I'll eat that later. Put him up, wrap him up so he's nice and secured. And we got... Hingsis of... Woodcroft. At first I thought it was Gotcha Gryffindor. I'm like, dang if I'd be lucky, but... And it's... One of those cards. I'm trying, guys, but that light's in the way. It's kind of hard to do on camera, but you can see how he's trying to move. Founder of Hogsmeade. Pretty cool. Driven away by his home by muggle persecutors. Hingis is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village Hogsmeade and the Three Bent Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hingson's old home. That's okay. That's cool. We'll keep this in the wrapper. I'll put it in my little miscellaneous collection. Alright. Now it's time for the metalhead box. As you can see, it's small. You know. Um, this is, in my opinion, a kind of pricey box, but also a cool one because there's a uh, not that many boxes out for music, period. Maybe mystery boxes, but that's just stuff that people would have swept together. But this is a box, a subscription box for metal people. People who listen to metal music, which in my opinion, it goes from Ozzy to freaking Cannibal Corpse. Love them. To uh, various types. Now, you can pick which one you're into. Now, me, I'm into all metal, so I just said... Give me all of it, you know, give me what you want from it, you know, all of it. I'm not going to say just send me all black metal, death metal, whatever. I can go in the different genres of metal there is. There's like a freaking graph of it. But, uh, you know, pretty cool. There's only like, this is only the first, this is the first one I heard of. And there's the other one done by Zobie, but they've only done it once. And I heard that sucker sold out like that. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it. Saw the reviews, kind of glad I didn't. It really wouldn't be worth my time. But, uh. Yeah, this is the Metalhead box. For the United States, it's about $42. Like I said, I got this when I got the stimulus check. Um, will I get this again? I do not know. Now, unfortunately, I had a spoiler. You know, I wish it said there will be no t-shirt in this box because of the COVID that went on. And the companies just can't do it. They're out of business for a while. This life. That's all I got to say. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. It's been rough, guys. But I'll get into that later. Right now, let's get this box open. But, like I said, subscription box. Now, I have, I'm have. i not sure how I'm going to feel about this. Is because, for one, it's kind of small. You know, you pay, like, for somebody in the United States. This is from Canada. Somebody in the United States, like me, it's $42. And when you live by yourself on a single income, that's a lot of money. I only got this because of stimulus check and I stimulus check that came out and I really wanted to try it out, you know. So I just kinda went like, well, I gotta get something out of this check to enjoy. I mean I'm not gonna get through all this and not get some get a few things to enjoy myself. But yeah, I got it. I've saw the reviews by another YouTuber. I would give him a shout out, but I don't have his permission to. Which means I haven't asked. You know what? No, I better not. I'm not sure what the legal reasons for that is, but I know the I know the software should be grateful for it, but the other one's actually pretty got some high counts, but whatever. Okay, let's get to this metalhead box. Take another swig of coffee. I swear it's coffee. Yeah, you know, I haven't drank in like two weeks, I don't care to. Alright, it's kind of going to be hard to open because we got a big thing, a big uh, label right here. Like I said, it came from Canada, so I had to go through God knows what. Let's just peel this plastic off, if I can. You know what? Let's see what we can do. Now, I have some, seen some cool things from this box. Like, I remember one box that came through, I had a t-shirt and I had like a freaking 
figure of the uh, Slayer album, Show No Mercy, the little devil guy on the front of it. But we'll see what we got. And now, even though there is no t-shirt, I heard... I heard that there's going to be at least seven items. I've already looked inside and I'm already excited. Oh, crap. There's a pin. That is from, uh, I think, the Leprosy album, Death. Death's Leprosy album. I haven't listened to it, but now I got to. I want to write down all my uh, stuff to listen to. There's a pin from it. Now, I looked inside and I'm really excited about this. Motorhead. And it has, this is what I'm talking about. There is no t-shirt in it, but we got a little figurine of Motorhead, the guy from the album. I'm not sure, what is this? War Pig. We got the War Pig figure. And you guess what else you can get? I could have got uh, King Diamond. Oh, fuck. Sorry. King Diamond. Collect them all. I am going to collect them all. Slayer. Ghost. I'm a big King Diamond fan. You know. And then I'm getting even more excited. You know what? I'm getting the next box. Screw it. We got a Bathory patch. Bathory. I think this is from... I'm pretty sure this is Bathory. I'm pretty daggone sh damn sure it's Bathory. From their uh, first album. I think their self-titled album. You know, one of the things that led to black metal. Love it. Now let's get into the album. Oh crap, we got three albums. That's pretty cool. Now I know CDs are not popular anymore. But still. As you can see... You can see, I got some CDs right there, mostly albums I've collected over the years. But let's get in. Is there a spoiler sheet? No, there's no spoiler sheet. Oh well. I'm gonna try I'm gonna butcher these names. And this is at Radogos Gates. Reflection of Lunar Eclipse in the stained mirror of time. Has a wolf on it. And it looks like an eyeball pot. Whatever I want to call that an eyeball pot. That's what it looks like. A moon and a tree. And let's, I want to read real fast some of the songs in it, the songs they have. Beneath Ceaseless Skies, A Reflection of Lunar Eclipse in the Stained uh, Mirror of a Time. Number three is Dreams That Swallow the Sun. Four, A Path in the Dust. Five, An Hourglass Shaped Hands. Six, Above the Earth. Seven, Under the Trees and Darkness and Roots. Eight, Cleansed by Funeral Pyres. Dang. Nine, The Sound of a During Silence. 10. Behold my body torn apart by carrion birds, shred to pieces, carried across the earth. Now I can finally call myself free. Dang. That's pretty awesome. Then we got this one. It's sealed up and has a nice case. Pang Paganizer. The Tower of the Morbid. These look like black metal albums. I don't know. This one might be synthotic or whatever. I have a feeling. One is Flesh Tornado. Two is Apocalypse Writing. Three is Cannibal Remains. Four, Drowning in the Sand. Five, Redemption, Redemption List. Six, They Came Only to Die. Seven, Rot Spreads. Eight, Beneath the Gauze. Nine, The Tower of the Morbid. Ten, Purse the World. Eleven, Diminished, Diminished Machines. Pretty, that's pretty hardcore. Then we'll go on to this one, and... I can tell right off the bat, this is going to be one of those weird, I hope it ain't like experimental, black metal, technical, whatever. Bervmach and Namend Patrice. I probably butchered that, but fuck it. Uh, preload uh, a la Genesis, Genesis number three is Terra Abomination. I'm going to butcher all these names. I'm going to try my best. Four is Oblivion. Wait, no, that was five. Seven is Vindicate. Uh, eight, Omnipotence. Nine, Gala Gatu. Ten, Toka and Asmino. And C Minore. And the last track is Revelations. Yeah. I don't know, maybe better than it looks, but the look to it, first two albums look awesome. And we got one more thing in this box. An autograph. Gene Pop Palabecki, guitarist. 
And it is the... I cannot read that. Maybe... I want to take it out, but I don't want to. Turn... It's, auto, it's autographed right there. It's authenticated, I can tell. Kearney... I'll have to look up this guy's name. I'll have to look him up. Perdition... No, per... Perdition Temple. Okay, now I definitely gotta listen to this band because I got his autograph. Pretty awesome. That was it for the box. Review. I said all metal. They gave me all metal. I mean, here we got pens, even a badge, a patch from old classic metal albums. You know, Bathory, Motorhead, uh, Death. And then we got some that I have not even heard of. This guy, which... Uh, Gene Palubecki. Palubecki. Sorry, guy, if you're watching this. I put you in your name, but, you know. Pretty cool. And we got four... Wait, no. Three albums. Good to listen to. Anybody who subscribes to this, and you got the King Diamond... Figure, if they even have that out, I will literally trade you for the uh, Motorhead one. Alright. Review. Great box. I'm going to try to get it this month. Um, I hate to say that I am going to cut down on my subscription boxes and start focusing on other things for this channel. One, they're costing a lot of money, and I got bills to pay. But I like a couple things. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm not going to say if I'm going to get the Aki Bento or whatever. I'm not even going to say if I'm going to get a box. If I get it, cool. If I don't, I don't. Uh, the Metalhead box, I'm definitely going to try again if I get paid enough. I mean, I got, you know, got to manage. I got to save up. I got bills and all that. But uh, after probably about middle of June, I will be, after I got the boxes I get, I will be slowing down drastically on these boxes because I got other things going on that need more attention. That leads on to a life update. As you all know, I lost my grandmother last month. It just hit me on Mother's Day that it's going through, so I'm going through some grieving, you know. As you can probably tell, I look tired as heck. But don't worry, everything's going good. You know, just moving on. You know, getting life situated now. Which brings me on to the biggest thing I want to say in this video. I know this is a longer video than I expected, you know. Because I can't stop running my mouth. But I appreciate everybody who watches these videos. You know. I appreciate it because even if it's even if you watch the video and you dislike it. You watched it. You wanted to, to give it a chance. That is awesome of you especially these days. Because I take that as a sign of human kindness. You know. Whatever. It's weird. I go into the philosophy thing. But you know. You like this video. I appreciate that. That shows me I'm not doing something really bad. You know what I mean? I'm not doing something horrible where I say, hey, dude, just give up, man. Like I said, when I, like my, uh, says on my channel, I'm just doing this for fun, guys. This is a hobby. If I end up getting, if it ends up going somewhere, awesome. If not, so, it's fun for me. Why should I stop? You know, but anybody who likes it, God bless you. Everybody who watches it, God bless you. Um... He subscribed. Awesome. That is awesome for me. I mean, heck, you got it to where my videos pop up, it's on your screen, and he's like, okay, I might want to give that a watch. You know, I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. Even if they watch it and they're like, God, this video is horrible. What the heck? Or, you know, I, I appreciate it. I mean, I just really do. It's awesome. But that's enough for this video. I'm going on 25 minutes, and that was longer than I thought it would be. This video was longer than I thought it would be, and I know I'm doing mostly this. But, you know, it's my channel, my rules. Ghoul Attack, out. No, not yet.